Shalom Aleichem. Welcome everyone. Today I will start Bezot Hashem translating, reading and translating um, for you guys um, from the book Likute Halachot, the book that was written by Rabbi Natan of Breslev. A huge, gigantic book that goes on all Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch is the book of rules of, um, of the Jewish um, bookcase. And um, it's the spiritual explanation based on Hasidut, on the wisdom of the students of the Baal Shem Tov, and mainly on Rabbi Nachman of Breslev's wisdom, to the Halachot from the Shulchan Aruch, um, to the Jewish rules that are written in Shulchan Aruch. Um, first Halacha is discussing the Halacha of waking up in the morning, the way that a person should wake up in the morning. Halacha Aleph, first Halacha. Yitgaber Ke'ari will stand up, will find power inside of him like a lion, to stand up in the morning to serve his Creator, that he will be the one to wake up the dawn. Means um, that a person should find all the strength, all the power in his being to start the day with a meaning, with a purpose, to serve the Creator. Haga. Shiviti Hashem Lenigditamid um, to imagine to to set in your mind the name of Hashem Yud Kevavke in front of your mind always Tamid Zeklal Gadol Batorah. It's a great rule of the Torah. Means that to live your life in a way that you always have the name of Hashem Yud Kevavke in front of your eyes, in front of your mind, means thinking about him, knowing that he's with you. In your way, in your level, to your power of understanding is a very fundamental thing to serve Hashem with. Because it's written, and here is expl his explanation, it's written in the words of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev in Torah 282, Likute Moran, that when a person starts seeking himself and finding himself that he is far away, very far from Hashem in Barach, from the Creator, and he's full of sins and defaults, and he feels that he's very, very far from goodness, then he should look and ask to find in himself some good things, because how can it be that he never done anything good in his life? So that's an advice for people who always, like most of us, judging themselves, criticizing themselves, blaming themselves. So. Rabbi Natan is telling us a person should always look for good points inside of himself. And even though that he finds that inside of him, he sees that even the good, the small amounts of good that he did in his life is still full of wounds and mixed with a lot of waste, like is not, is not pure. Even though still, it cannot be that there is no good spark in it in any case, then Therefore, a person should look and find inside of himself another good point. And even though that, that good point, small point that he finds inside of himself is also mixed with a lot of waste, even though still for sure, in any way, there is some good point in it. And then he should continue to look and find in himself more good points. And by that, that the person is judging himself favorably and finds in himself good spots, good points. Still, even though that he did what he did, and even though he defected in the way that he defected, by that he will climb out truly from being guilty and will find himself entering into, um, into favor, into um, a place of, uh, of being innocent, of being pure. And by that, a person can come back to Hashem, to come back to the Creator. And that is what that is written in the book of Tehillim, Ve'od me'at ve'ein rasha. Soon there will be no evil. The word ve'od me'at means soon, also means and a little bit more. And there will be no evil. So Rabbi Natan is explaining, by that a little bit more, that over there in that little bit that you look inside of yourself, that you found good points inside of yourself, that you're not evil in those spots, by that, the next part of the verse is, When you look at 
its place, it will be gone. It won't stand there anymore. And by that, a person can make himself happy. You can pray and you can serve Hashem and you can praise Him like the verse is saying, Azamra lelokai be'odi, I'm going to praise God while I am. While I am, even though that I am as I am, by that small little bit that I found in myself, by that you can start singing and praising Hashem on the little things that you found, because by that you find power to sing to Hashem, to be happy, because tunes and music are being created by that that the person is sifting and clarifying, clarifying, finding the good spirit from the dark spirit. And that's what it's written, Azamra Daika, I'm going to sing Bechinat Nigunim in the aspect of tunes. Why? Because the way that you play, let's say a person plays the piano, plays the guitar. The way that you play is that you look for the next tone. You look for the next tone that you want to pick. So all the rest are the wrong ones and you need to pick the right one next. Every time you play, you play the one that is the right one and you pull it out from all the rest that are dark, that are not the right ones. So that is the aspect of music. That is an aspect of how a person should serve Hashem, should serve the Creator in that wonderful way that you look for good points inside of yourself, good points that will inspire you to be happy. That happiness is aspect of music, of tunes. And also a person should judge other people favorably. And even when a person finds himself in front of a wicked man, you should look and find in him, in him some good point. That's what it's written in the book of Rabbi Nachman in Likutei Moharan. And it doesn't mean that if there might be a person that you will not find, but if you can find something good in a person that you were too fast to judge him completely as guilty, if you're able to look and find a good point inside of him, even in the criminals of Israel, even in people that are very far from holiness and purity, by that you can be a messenger of the public and to pray for the public. And you should know that every person and every one of the righteous people of the generation are building a Mishkan, a place for the Spirit of God to hover up on. And from there, the babies that are learning Torah are receiving their holy and pure breath, that there is no sin in it. And therefore, they're starting their learning from the book of Vaikra, from the verses that says Vaikra in, in, in the Chumash, in the, in the Bible. And that righteous man, and that righteous man that is able to collect all that goodness that is inside of every person, he knows all the aspects that there are in that issue of Mishkenot, of all the holy houses, all the holy dormitories of holiness for purity, for the Spirit of God to hover. They are building, that the righteous people are building, that from there the holy babies that are learning Torah, receiving their holy and pure breath, that there is no sin in it, look into that Torah and learn carefully. So. Many times when we're going to learn Likutei Halachot, we're going to find ourselves reading parts that are very complex to understand. So don't let it break your spirit. We shall continue. And Bezrat Hashem, we're going to continue with more beautiful, holy portions like those to cheer up our spirits. The treasures that are written in the book Likutei Halachot, you're going to see it um, in the opposite, but still. Likute halachot backward. If you're gonna uh, put your hand on a copy of Likute halachot, it will be wonderful. We're gonna try to read from it on daily basis, and if not on daily basis, so at least a few times a week, we're gonna find treasures in this uh, great, great, amazing book that gives so much power and motivation. With time, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. It's going to be super awesome. Thank you so much. May Hashem bless us always. Amen.
My name is RDMC with the Muna Project. All the nations with me. Close your eyes. Just breathe. See the truth. Don't chase the fake world. Don't buy the fake news. Be yourself. Your own true self. Don't let no one take our natural wealth. See the good. No fear. No despair. Cherish who that you are. And share. Source of power. From an endless spring. Light up current. Yourself, they can kick you down to the ground Hold yourself up till you are put up your crown King of the creator, holy soul inside Focus on the spiritual and you shall